Okay, hello. We are here to do a, an unboxing of a game that's on Kickstarter right now to help people decide if it's something they want. The name of the game is 2GM Tactics, and this is a game that's made in Spain and originally came out in Spanish. And the reason behind this 2GM thing is that's in essence the Spanish way that we would put WW2 down. So it's a World War II game of tactical battle. It comes in a uh, less than full size box compared to other games, but it's also thick and it's very solid. It's, there's a lot of game here. And it's I've actually left the top separate from the bottom because the fit is so snug. I didn't want to take a lot of time pulling that off. I've done a couple of things to shave time on this, including you're not going to get to watch me tear shrink wrap. But the game does come shrink wrap. It's well done. It's beautiful. Let's take a look at it now. If you open the box, this game start with rule books. This is a Spanish edition of the game. The point of the Kickstarter is to make one in English. So you're going to see nothing but Spanish here. But uh, Americans and uh, English and Australians, if you want to buy one of these, you'll be able to get it in English. You'll also be able to get four expansions, and I'll talk about those in a second, although I can't show them to you because they don't exist. The rule book is complete. It's well illustrated. It's got everything you need. And there is an English version that you can download from the Kickstarter, but it is a rough version. You can get the gist of the game in English, but before it's printed, it's going to go to a you know, native English speaker, professional editor, and it will be polished significantly. So you can get a gist of the game, but don't expect that that's the final rule book. After the rule books, you've got a scenario book, and the Kickstarter already has a larger scenario book than what came in the Spanish version, so that's cool. The base of the game is cards. Once again, I've taken the shrink wrap of these already. There's more down there. There's plenty of cards. In fact, there are over 200 cards that come in the game. The cards work in a couple of different ways. The biggest thing that you'll appreciate is that they are your units. You've got tanks. You've got infantry. You've got capabilities on the card. You don't have to keep referring to stuff. And you've got a full range of the cool stuff that you want, including some oddball things that everybody loves in gaming, like the Sturmtiger, the light infantry gun, anti-tank guns, artillery. It's all in there, including airplanes, which is why we have anti-aircraft guns. There are also uh, special cards for making things happen, like events. We've got Enigma, we've got minefields, we've got suppressing fire and parachutist ammunition things. A full range of the kind of stuff you would expect in a card game, including my favorite, things that you can do that mess up with your opponent, like making his orders go oh, awry and stuff like that. Okay, that's the German deck, or most of it. Here's the American deck. The base game comes with Germans and Americans. And you can see these cards up close and personal on the Kickstarter. So I'm just flipping through them, but giving you a sense. You've got infantry. In fact, they have light infantry and heavy infantry and special forces. Light tanks, heavy tanks, full range of stuff. And the Americans have airplanes as well. Ah, this is a beautiful one. I'm not a Spanish speaker, but Ordenes Contradictores. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can figure out that that means I can mess with what something my opponent's trying to do. Okay, put the cards away. You've also got uh, your shorthand way. This covers the different uh, phases that you go through the game as you introduce people and put them on the map. And I'll show you the map in just a second. And you go through the different processes and you've got this stuff right there in front of you. You've also got a code to what the symbols on the cards mean. Okay. There's also terrain and special things. There are generals that come with this that let you affect things. Marshall and Patton and Rommel and Modal are the ones that start in the base game, although there are more generals coming in the Kickstarter with the stretch goals. Buildings, bunkers, you got it all. These are the cards you should use off-board for your headquarters and to bring in troops by spending action points. And we're going to look at those in a second. Because here are your map board pieces, although that's not all of them. Some of them are outside the box, and I'll show you that in a second. They've been uh, clever about conserving space and time. The actual playing part is right here. There are chits that are used in the game for action things and to add things to your units. 
And then here are little locking devices that come in. In fact, I'm going to slide this aside and pull this in to show that to you. This is the map here, or this is our four sections of the map put together with these clever little locking things so that stuff doesn't move away from you. Once you put your map out, it'll stay static. And you notice the little crosses here because the, the pieces play on the map per area. And while they've managed to make it not look like just a terrible grid, it's clear what spaces are where for as you move things around. It's really a sharp design. They also have two confided dice, and there are more dice available on the Kickstarter as well. That pretty much covers what comes in the box. It is 2GM. If you look for it on Kickstarter, buy 2GM. It comes from Draco Ideas, the same people who just finished a game called Onus, which is on Ancient War. And that's shipping right now. People are starting to post about getting it. And you can actually get Onus on the Kickstarter as well and bundle it and save some bucks. So, 2GM Tactics, World War II, beautiful cards, cool map pieces. There you go.